welcome back digital watch fans to vintage digital watches and another pickups video uh, in this video i'll be showing you the watches that i got in the second half of 2018 i did a video this summer so it's only natural that i do an update video so this video before we kick off it's not for me to brag uh, if you're a collector you know that you want to show to your fellow collectors what items you got lately uh, it's also an opportunity for me to show you where I get my watches because I don't get them in a, from a single place like eBay and you will see uh, some of them are good deals some of them not so good deals because some of them are things I lusted for so yeah so to fund part of the watches you will see here today I had to part with some others from my collection so it's goodbye to my Seiko H239 one of my Orient 64100 but I had too many of those anyways and I also sold some uh, Seiko UC 3000s uh, if you're on the Facebook group uh, you probably know about that so let's get to the meat of the video uh, I've got watches from Yahoo Auction Japan from eBay uh, from a German site that I'm advocating for Kleinzeigen eBay uh some uh, are donations uh so yeah i will be showing you prices uh, i will also be showing you the auctions so you know the price uh is real um but for some of them apparently uh, some uh, for example ebay doesn't store uh, the auctions that long so i won't be able to show you an image of the auction because it's out of their system uh, i also have this uh, cheat sheet uh, so I will be able to tell you exactly the prices. So we'll start off with this item from Japan. It's a Cassiotron. Uh, let me get the model number 03501 if my eyesight tells me good. And I'm going for a Cassiotron collection on the cheap. And uh, this was a very good candidate. Uh, it's one of those early ones with a thick, thick glass um, as you can see here. Um, and it was an astounding price of 1,000 yen, which is 9 US dollars. Can you believe that? You have to add shipping and their taxes, but still, it was super, super cheap. By the way, all the prices will be in US dollars because uh, that's a currency that everybody understands. Uh, next one is also a Citizen that I bought together with that Cassiotron you just saw. And it's this watch. Um, so it's a Citizen 9060 uh, that is the model uh, that is the module inside and let's see uh, the case number is 501077 and uh, yeah this uh, I added the tag uh, which uh, the, the tag I got from that huge tag lot I bought last year, uh, I found a tag for it, uh, all in good working condition. I had to do a bit of work on it, uh, nothing major, just polishing the crystal and polishing the case. But I'm really going for these early uh, Citizen watches, the 90, the 90, and then after that the number like 90, 60, 90, 80. These are some. Uh, early series uh, of modules they have various cases but i really like them because of the huge letters and the quirky uh, graphics on the front really nice watch and this was uh 1500 yen so that's 13 dollars uh a super price for something like this yeah but again you have to add the taxes and whatnot but even with that uh, price, the, the price was unbelievable. Another item, well, uh, I'll finish up with the items from Yahoo Auction Japan. So I have uh, two more. And it, the next one is this Rico. Now, Rico is a brand that I've been into lately because they have some special models uh, like this one. You can see it can be set from the crown. There you go. Uh, this uh, mod module, uh, you can find it from Rico in other cases. Uh, this one is a sort of a rugged one. It did came with a tag and this was 
3,200 yen, so that's 28 US dollars. So again, yeah, you have to add the taxes, but even with that, it's a really, really low price. If you're not on Yahoo Auction Japan already, you should be, uh, because you can buy something uh, like this, all original. I don't believe it was ever worn. Screw down back, very, very nice. Moving on, uh, this was uh, another watch from Yahoo Auction Japan that I bought. Uh, I had two orders and uh, the first two watches, the Citizen and the Castletron were uh, the first order. And now the, what did you see there? The Rico and this Orient are the second one. But if you look at this Orient, it's the super rare Orient message watch, which means that you can program a message into it and then like now it has 222 it's a four character code you can uh, assign as an alarm uh, it came with a tag again something that was never worn probably and this was how much was it uh 3400 yen so that's 30 us dollars Again, uh, if you look up this one on eBay in the sold listings, you probably will find one going for $90 to $100 uh, if you can find one. Really glad to have found that. Okay, uh, now I'm moving on to items from eBay. So eBay is the main source uh, I get my watches from. Uh, and I'm going for another group. I bought these as a pair and they are two citizens and here we have the <coughs> uh, citizen c110 and uh, this is the citizen calculator uh, i never thought of going for something like this because i always thought that they would be super 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 expensive especially if you get one in a good condition and this was no exception it wasn't cheap uh, it was a hundred dollars and this one was a hundred dollars as well uh, Shipping included. I think that was so both of the watches uh, two hundred dollars uh, This one is a repurchase because I had this one a few years ago and uh, I sold it and now I can't believe I found one in pristine condition So I I had I was lusting after it. That's why I bought it screw down back uh, didn't do any work on this one. On this one, I did a bit of uh, exterior cleaning, polishing the case, cleaning it, and I disassembled and cleaned up the module to make it future-proof. Both of them uh, really nice additions. I love them to death. Uh, okay, so moving on. Put them, let's put these aside. Uh, next, uh, we have a Casio uh, Casio Trone. Uh, this was uh, in a video where I did the challenge of trying to find a module that had missing segments, uh, buy it from eBay, then try to fix it, and in the end it was a successful fix. You can find the videos in my videos. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a simple Casio Trone, and I believe this was 20 bucks or something. And now it appears to uh, it's acting weirdly because I have to change the battery on it. So this was how much was it? Uh, Twenty dollars plus shipping, maybe? Yeah, probably. Uh, moving on to eBay, I have a super cool find. Uh, I bought this on an impulse because I didn't believe that it came in such good condition and I bought it because it was new old stock uh, it also came with a manual and it also came with a tag uh, just look at it so it's the Casio uh, it's a long serial uh, 60QS minus 20B minus 1 you can you can see there uh, this was also in a service because the display was acting up, uh, but super price for this one, new old stock. It was $30 plus shipping. Um, it was a uh, low cost shipping. It came from Asia. It was a, bit, a little bit of a gamble, but it made it uh, to me uh, in the end. So I'm very psyched about it, especially because it has 
uh, everything you would have got if you bought it new. Okay, moving on. Moving on to another cool find. So uh, this is a Citizen D080. It's not my first one. I had one for a long time. I think it was among my first videos a review for this. But why I bought this? Because it came with the manual and the original packaging. Because uh, this was, in my opinion, something more of a sporty fashion thing that citizen were going for uh, and I was really curious about uh, the uh, how they would present it and you can see here it says color fashion solar battery uh, simple box manual it was it was uh, $20 from eBay yeah uh, I really love when you find something like this that uh, will tell you about the history of how it was advertised and presented. <laughs> the next one is uh, an impulse buy and I bought it because I knew that this module uh, is one of those Hong Kong early modules that was in other watches. It does look like this in a very presentable box um, and it's the <laughs> Royal Select, selection Royal Quartz with uh, <laughs> it has the module, it, it has the uh, manual and everything, but yeah, it's basically a low end uh, digital watch. Uh, but it's new old stock, it was 30 bucks from the US. A friend brought it over for me, uh, really, really quirky. Uh, small diameter. I don't know if this will stay in my collection, uh, but it's really nice to see uh, what other manufacturers were trying to do uh, to compete with Seiko, Casio, Citizen or the other big ones. Um, you will find this in various forms. It was even, they had even a gold one. Okay, uh, I did get uh non uh, non watch related well yeah it's not a watch but it is watch related it's the citizen sticker i thought it was cool it was three dollars it was from france so uh yeah why not then i got a bunch of manuals um you know that uh, i like to look for manuals as well because they complete uh the watch if you have uh, the watch if you have the manual and you have the tag then it looks a lot better so as I was spying for manuals I got hold of this uh, Citizen Digi Anna so this is if you see the inside you will know for which watch it is so you know by the face I, uh, I have one in my collection so that's why I bought the manual uh, for can't remember what it was. I never buy a manual if it's more than ten dollars, so maybe five or seven. Then I bought a manual for uh, the Casio Chronograph 52, and if you know what what watch carries this module, then you are an Aliens fan because this is the Ripley Casio F100 uh, watch, and uh, I was looking for the watch. I know they go for a lot but uh, I found the manual. I know that the manual is more scarce, so I said, hey, why not? Maybe one day I will get a watch. And then I have <laughs> a manual. This was from Yahoo Auction Japan. Uh, a manual for a Seiko H239. So I sold mine because I didn't like it anymore. It wasn't speaking to me, but I am looking for a specific version that goes with this mod with this manual so i saw the manual yahoo auction japan uh, and i grabbed it uh, now we are going to go for an item that was from kleinenzeigen ebay this is a ebay sister site sort of uh, that i'm advocating for uh, it's from germany it doesn't have all the mechanism that ebay has but it has some cool watches so this is a Seiko D409, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, it's a D409. 
So this is a message watch and you can uh, set a whatever character that fits on two lines, sort of like the uh, Orient Memo watch, only more capable. And it's the silver wave version, which makes it more look um, more rugged in appearance. Um, I know that they go for a lot. Uh, I looked it up on eBay and they were towards a hundred dollars or more. I paid 70 for it. Uh, and uh, it was without a bracelet and uh, the bracelet is a generic one, but it fits the watch very, very nice. <clears throat> okay, uh, still from eBay Klein and Zeigen, I have this uh, interface. So this interface is, uh, as you can see, for a Citizen Pro Master series, uh, Hyper Aqualand. Uh, and uh, it was, Fifteen dollars, uh, yeah, that is an expensive watch because it's a diver. Uh, not really a classic digital, but it is a cool digital uh, from the '90s. Yeah, I bought it because it was a good price, and I like anything digital watch related. And maybe at one point uh, I will get the watch, and uh, it may be missing the interface. So yeah, why not? Uh, what did I miss? Yeah, um, and I think this is the final item from eBay. Uh, it's a Seiko data graph in its original box. So, uh, I got this for $75. Uh, it was, I think, listed for 90 or 100 and he accepted. I sent him a message and I said, uh, can you take 75 for it? And he said yes, so I immediately bought it. It has everything uh, that this watch was shipped with. Uh, all manuals, it has the cable and software kit. Really stoked because uh, I know there was one for sale for about $500 or $400. That's, in my opinion, too much to pay for something like this. But if you get to pay 75 bucks, it's more manageable. Uh, I just love it because it has the box. Uh, and this half year was a Seiko themed computer watch for me because uh, I also got a huge lot of Seiko computer watches and I'll show you right now what that is about. So I have here all the items, okay, and uh, I also have this binder. I will show you in just a minute what we have inside, but let's go through these items first because uh, I get to complete my uh, colored Seiko RC4500 collection with this yellow one. Uh, I also have the green one, I believe from the same person on eBay, but I ended up uh, doing a deal for all of these. And you can see that these are the elusive, uh, well, not, not so much this one, but these two. So this is the watch to watch synchronizer, the RC4300. You get to synchronize two of these watches and this is the watch to computer interface. So yeah, if you have all these three, uh, you can send data from a, from a computer to a watch, you can send data from a watch to a computer, and you can send data in between two watches. So uh, I got all of these uh, through a deal that started on eBay, and then it ended up uh, into something so much more, uh, including this watch. Uh, how much was it? Uh, it was around 180 bucks, but I also got the following thing, and this is something that really blew my mind. Uh, it's what we have in this binder, and this is uh, Seiko memorabilia, and this is something that you just can't put a price on. So. Um, 
this these are items that would have went to the press uh, you can see it's for the RC series 4500 4000 uh, you can see the pocket terminal here and yeah it's uh, basically it's flyers but this is something that I really go for because it shows the history and how the watches were marketed and who were, who were they targeting <laughs> as, as a market. Uh, I, I put them in this uh, lovely binder. Um, yeah, it, uh, believe it or not, uh, at one point it was used for cheating uh, this watch. The RC UC2000 or UC3000, it was used for cheating, which was a huge publicity stunt for Seiko. Yeah. I just like stuff like this. Okay, so we're getting closer to the end and uh, let's go through the donations now. And uh, the first item is this uh, Etic ETIC watch. I got it from a coworker. So uh, thank you for donating this to the channel. All of the watches that are donated, they have a special place. Uh, I will get it working. And the final one is was the surprise of uh, this half year. And it's a Seiko F100. Dear Vintage Digital Watches, uh, please accept this as a donation. It's been tucked away for many years and needs a new home. I hope you can get it working. Uh, no one have taken it to have been able to fix it. David. So David, David, whoever you are, whoever you are, Thank you. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. Uh, it, it will have a permanent home with uh, me and uh, I will turn this into a fix it video uh, and uh, I will get it working uh, because uh, this goes perfectly with the manual I bought earlier uh, this year. And what can you say to a Seiko F100 if you are a digital watch fan and the uh, aliens fan but I am all my gratitude goes out to you uh, so yeah enough thank yous thumbs up Dave David so if you made it till, until the end thank you for watching the video do subscribe if you like digital watch related videos because that is what I do uh, reviews repairs uh, collection roundups roundups like this and uh, anything else in between. I don't know when this video will uh, air, uh, if it's in between the holidays, happy holidays. If it's after, I hope you had good holidays and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.